How's it going everyone? My name is Falling Hurts and today I want to take a little bit of time to talk about an upcoming game that I've been really excited for for quite frankly a really long time and that's Celico or Celaco. I'm not really entirely sure. All I know is that in my brain it's rewiring to say Sulaco from Aliens but you know that's just me on that one. Regardless, if you don't know, it's a brand new original shooter running on GZ Doom, which basically means it's a super updated and all intensive purposes ported version of that original Doom engine. So there's a lot of that feel that you're going to be getting while shooting that's going to feel very reminiscent of some of the Doom games, while at the same time also a lot of the AI and different inspirations for some of the gameplay elements is inspired by Fear or Half-Life. So already you've got a great mix of different shooters that have a great lineage of being really high quality. And the game's going to feature thrilling action set pieces, destructibility, smart enemies, and a fleshed out story that's taking place within an immersive game world. Now, for your immediate need to knows with that little tagline there, as well as everything else, the game is coming out May 30th, 2024, and is being developed and self-published by Altered Orbit Studios. Very cool there, and I really love all that they've shown about the game so far, and this is going to be an early access release for the game. They've talked a bit about the idea that the game, when it leaves early access, may go up in price. But that's neither here nor there. That's going to be, as they say, up to 18 months, which is going to put it at a full release in 2026. So you've got some time, maybe if you see a new update or something like that. And that could be really cool. Now, as for the price of the game, we don't know exactly what the price is going to be. I've tried to look for Q&As, different things like that, and I haven't seen that exactly, but I do know on their Patreon, if you sub for at least 20 bucks a month, and I believe you only have to do anything on there for one month to get a reward, then you get access to the game when it launches. So therefore, I have to assume the game's probably going to be maybe $20 early access, something like that, maybe 25 or even 30 somewhere in that range. But I know people like to keep it short and sweet when learning more about games they're excited for. Okay, so let's talk about what's actually going to be in the early access. So there are three planned chapters of the game to be for full release, but as of right now, I believe it's only going to be the one. And that's across 25 maps with 11 fully upgradable weapons with customizable alternative fires for increased variety. And with those, you're going to be shooting more than 10 different enemy types. And they also boast that the polish for this will be almost as though it's a completed game. Also, as a side tangent, modding is a huge part of Doom, and with that being said, they've also had it to where it's open source for full modability from the beginning of the game where you can utilize their tools, which I think is great. Now, as for planned content, as I already said, they're going to go from one chapter to three, so you could see this being whether or not each chapter is created equally. You could have over 50 maps by the time everything is said and done. And playing some of the three maps that are in the original demo, these levels go a long way in and of itself. And we'll talk a little bit more about that specific gameplay in just a minute. But I have to say off the bat, this is a really promising price to gameplay ratio. I think that's really, really good. And we'll talk about the story a little bit more at the end, but let's talk about some other stuff. So first off, they've got a custom AI. I already mentioned the enemies. But with that fear influence, writing proper AI was a goal from the get-go. The enemy is fully aware of each other's presence and work together to take you down. They will keep their distance if you apply constant pressure on them, will rush you if you hide or run out of bullets, toss grenades if you use the same cover for too long, and much more. Hundreds of custom lines have been written and acted out, provided hints, providing hints to the player about their current plans and tactics. Remind you a lot of The Last of Us 2 in the sense that, you know, these characters are interacting with one another as they're moving around, and it almost sounds a lot more oppressive in this game. But when the action does ramp up, you're going to have some intense action set pieces. So you're going to turn the entire world into confetti with the destructive power of your weapons. Every single bullet will react properly with any materials or objects you hit. Our artists have created many different variations for each object to ensure the aftermath of each encounter is palpable. That once lavish office space, now nothing but a pile of rubble with broken paintings, smashed tables, screens, chairs, smoke, and chunks of debris. And to me, one of the most satisfying elements of a game is when you can destroy the environment. And there's a lot of interactivity too with what you can, you know, open windows or close blinds, different things like that, certain doors. It's all super, super well done. But finally, I did want to make a little bit of a note of the type of game that Salako 
actually is. So they talk about it in their Q&A, and it's been a while since I played the demo. Unfortunately, it's not available again to play. But the basic gist is this. Of course, you're going to be killing enemies with first-person combat. You'll be finding switches or keys to progress through different doors and environments, which I think is great. And with any Doom project, or GZ Doom in this case, and you'll be able to find secrets as well. So looking for that 100% completion on a map is definitely going to be something you're going to want to strive for. They also say they put a lot of emphasis on exploration and the story, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And the collectible items themselves are actually going to give you a lot more insight into the world of Salako. But with that being said, let's talk a little bit more about the story of the game. So this is after the fall of Earth. Surviving refugees were transported to Selico, the underground facility on Mars that serves as their new home. The story takes place when Selico is invaded by unknown forces, and they are not human, as you can tell by the fact that their blood isn't even red, which also makes it really inspired, visually speaking, seeing all this purple shooting around. I love it. But you're going to be playing as Dawn, so we got a nice female protagonist here. In my opinion, Selico, Sulaco, female protagonist. I'm sorry, maybe that's just me with aliens, who knows. But she is an ace, which is an allied coalition of expansion security captain. Her recent promotion has granted her high-level security clearances, which she has been using to investigate Selico's murky history. She and her partner in crime, Sal, owner of the local bar and ex-marine combat veteran, are increasingly wary of the story they've been told about Selako's development and construction. And Dawn is being voiced by Melissa Medina, which I've seen on Twitter countless times. She's done other games that I've been interested in. But what was really interesting when they talked about that is the fact that she's recorded hundreds of lines of dialogue. However, they say that Dawn won't act like other build engine characters. <clears throat> I'm looking at you, throwing out zingy one-liners during combat. Dawn is meant to feel like a real person and will react like a real person would react to her surroundings not something you often see in other retro FPSs. That being said, the story and the atmosphere are a lot to go on with a game like this, especially with how story-driven it seems to be. But the true heart of the story picks up as the investigation for everything going on at Celico takes place. There are explosions and armed invaders interrupting everything. So while Celico may take place in a large-scale conflict, much of it will be a personal story of Dawn, who is the centerpiece of the game. And it's said that this is going to be a lengthy story-driven campaign, and it's said that that is not to be taken lightly. And they had a dedicated writer brought on board to assist with creating an engaging and believable sci-fi story and engrossing world. But with every great story, you also need a great soundtrack. And while I can't speak too much on that as of right now, Selico is accompanied by a full-length original soundtrack composed by an experienced musician, which is obviously what you want, but I'm really curious to see if there's going to be more music and different things like that added through each of the early access, you know, major updates or something like that, or if it's all going to be off the bat. Regardless, though, a nice sci-fi soundtrack to be able to listen to while you're working out can't go wrong either. But with that being said, that's really all you need to know about the game. It doesn't seem like the file size is going to be huge, but whether you're going to be using an assault rifle, a shotgun, a pistol, or some combination of weapons in between... You've got plenty of tools at your disposal, and I hope to see you in the game very soon. I'm excited to play it, and I hope you are too. Consider subscribing, and maybe I'll do a review. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.